At this, my heart trembles and leaps from its place. Listen carefully to the roar of his voice, the rumbling that comes from his mouth. Under the whole heaven, he lets it loose, and his light to the ends of the earth. After that, a voice roars. He thunders with his majestic voice. He does not hold them back when his voice is heard. God thunders wondrously with his voice. He does great things beyond our comprehension. For to the snow, he says, fall to the earth, and to the torrential rain, be a mighty downpour of rain. He seals the hand of every man so that all men will know his work. The animals go into their lairs. They remain in their dens. Out of its chamber comes the storm and icy cold from the driving wind. From the breath of God, frost is made and the watery expanse freezes. He loads the cloud with moisture. He scatters his cloud of lightning. It swirls around by his guidance to do whatever he commands on the face of the inhabited world. Whether it is a rod of punishment or for his land or for loving kindness, he causes it to happen. Listen to this, Job. Stand and consider God's wonders. Do you know how God orders them and makes the lightning flash in his cloud? Do you know the balancing of clouds, the wonders of him who has perfect knowledge? You whose clothes are hot when the earth is still because of the south wind, can you with him stretch out the skies strong as a mirror of molten metal? Teach us what to say to him. We cannot prepare a case because of the darkness. Should he be informed that I want to speak? If a man speaks, would he be swallowed up? But now they do not see the light, bright as it is in the skies, until the wind has passed and cleared the clouds away. Out of the north comes in golden splendor. Around God is awesome majesty. Should I, we cannot find him. He is great in power and justice. In abundant righteousness, he does not oppress. Therefore, people fear him. He does not regard all the wise of heart.